The BAF Factory is the smallest and most dangerous map in Lost Light. Because of its maze-like design, it's easy to get lost and with its 15 minute time limit, you need to know where to get the loot and how to get there. This guide will help you do that. In general, the BAF Factory doesn't hold the best loot in the game, but because of how small and quick it is, it's a great map to drop in, get some kills and fill your bags in a matter of minutes. If done right, you can be in and out in 5 minutes, with loot worth anywhere between 250k and 500k, and sometimes even more. You'll find a decent amount of scrap and fuel in here, as well as some easy to find weapon spawns. In general, you'll also find a lot of tools and crafting materials needed to upgrade your shelter. Due to its small size where everything is close together, you're also likely to see a lot of action here, so the BAF Factory is definitely the most dangerous map to play. Starting out with the unloading area. This is a rather underwhelming area in terms of loot, but it's important to know that this area spawns keys. That's why it's marked with a key on the map. Sources tell me all the loot containers here might spawn keys, but I've only found them inside this container room. Keys are always worth getting, which makes the unloading area a good stop on your loot runs. There's a few loose items lying around, as well as a decent amount of containers. For instance, there's this weirdly placed adamant firefly bundle, which you'll have to access from the third floor and shimmy across the ledge to get to. There's also a spawn point and an extraction point for players here, which means you'll see other players running to or from here as well. You can access the basement from the spawn room, and from the main room you can access the production workshop, transport passage and office area. When spawning here, I usually go straight for the office area. This is where you'll find the most loot in the whole map, and for that reason, also the most players. On the second floor, you'll find three computer cases containing electronics and money, generally some food items as loose loot and a jacket that might spawn a key. Most notably, there's two locked rooms here that can be opened with the factory key and factory director's key. In the factory director's room, you'll find a safe that holds some valuables. I've never gotten below 50k in value from this room. Room. The conference room holds a suitcase and a sports bag, which both may contain valuable loot. You can peek through the windows to the conference room to see what's on the table, but you'll have to get in to actually get the loot. Moving up one floor, we have one big loot room with both loose loot and several containers. Most notably, there's this weapon case that seems to hold a weapon more often than not, as well as this jacket, which often holds keys. There's also two ammo boxes here which might contain high grade ammo you'll want to unlock through your trading center. Next to the big room you run into another weapon case as well as another locked room. This one also uses the factory director's key but I only recommend going in if you also have the secret room lockbox key because there's a secure case here. This room has an arms box and some loose shelf spawns. I often find good weapon attachments here so this is a good room to get some unlocks for your trading center. From the office area, you can move into the transport passage. This is another underwhelming area apart from this weapons container on the east side. There's often some loose cash here and the weapons case often has a gun in it as well as some good attachments. You'll also find more attachments on this table over here. Apart from that, this area doesn't have much going for it. There's a few loot containers with random loot and you can access the basement from here. The raw material area is a good step up. The storage shelves on the north side have a decent amount of scrap on them, and you can get close to a full stack of 60 scrap in one run. There's also a locked room here which requires the factory key. The same key as in the conference room in the office area. You can peek in through the window to see that there's some loose cash, an arms box, a storage case and a jacket in here. Generally, this room is always worth it in terms of value. It can also be entered from the basement. Apart from that, this area has a few loot containers hidden around and not much more to talk about. There's also a player spawn and extraction location here. The medicine storage has, you guessed it, medical items. You'll find both healing items and medical crafting items here, like the ones you need to upgrade your medical station in the hideout. There's also a locked box here, which requires the lockbox 5 key to be open. You can also enter the basement from here, which can quickly take you to the production workshop or transport passage. The production workshop is also quite underwhelming. There is loose loot, some loot containers, and you can access the basement from here. There's also a hole in the south wall leading to the unloading area, and there's both a spawn and an extraction point for players on the east side. There really isn't much more to say. Lastly, we have the basement. As I mentioned, the basement can be accessed from the medicine storage, unloading area, and transport passage. 
It kind of goes in a circle and it has some loot spawns going around. The main attraction is this storage room which has some fuel, scrap and plastics alongside a duffel bag. Weapon case and tier 2 armor, which always seems to spawn here. Another notable spot is this desk in the hallway leading to the production workshop which seems to always have a marker or a walkie talkie. You can also enter the locked room in the raw material area from here. There are also overhead walkways in all areas which pose a danger as you never know if a player might be up here or not. Do keep an eye out. These walkways stretches out in a maze-like pattern all across the map. There's a few loot containers scattered around on them, but nothing worth mentioning. To summarize the BAF factory. It's small, cramped, and you're very likely to run into players. The unloading area has a high chance to spawn keys, while the office area holds the most value in loot. The raw material area also has a decent amount of scrap. That's pretty much it. If you need more tips about Lost Light, I recommend checking out this video right here, right now, letting you know about what to focus on in your shelter. I also have several more guides and videos about Lost Light on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.